For those of you that have been asking for this, well, Ubiquiti have answered your prayers. Here is the Flex Mini update with its 2.5 gigabit ports. So just going through the specs on the left hand side that you can see right here, we have four two and a half gig ports on here and one 2.5 gigabit input for PoE power. The Flex Mini 2.5 gigabytes comes in at $49. We'll have a quick look at the side by side comparison in just a minute, but let's take a look down at the technical specs. So we have five one slash 2.5 gigabit ports, one as an input and the other four as outputs. There is a total of 12.5 gigabits per second of non-blocking throughput and a switching capacity of 25 gig. And it has a bunch of switching features further down below. So it has STP, RSTP with priorities on there. So you can go ahead and get these configured on a switch. It has port isolation, storm control, port mirroring, multicast and broadcast rate limits, flow control, jumbo frames and egress rate limits. Now let's go ahead and compare it against the previous device and see where this has improved. On the old Flex Mini you had four 1 gig ports and one gigabit port for input and again a USB-C adapter which you could plug in to power the unit. You can do the same with the Flex 2.5G as well. As I mentioned these came in at $29 and you can buy them singly three pack or five pack. At the moment the Flex 2.5G can only be purchased singly but maybe something Ubiquiti might be introducing later on down the line. So let's have a quick look. So let's jump into a side-by-side -side technical spec. In terms of the size, the Flex 2.5 is ever so slightly bigger and weighs a little bit more heavier as well, but at 150 versus 200 grams, I don't think you're really gonna notice that much of a difference. We know what port interfaces are in there. In terms of the non-blocking throughput, we have five gig on the Flex Mini and 12.5 gig on the Flex Mini 2.5G. Switching capacity is 25 gig versus 10 gig. So you can see with the additional ports, you are gonna get the additional throughput on the switch itself. All the layer two features are generally the same as the old versus the new. However, there is one important one, which is the spanning tree protocol. So you now can enable that on the Flex Mini 2.5G. There is also full capabilities to enable the VLAN, so you can tag ports on there if you wish to do so, or leave it as native VLANs. All this is gonna get covered once I get my hands on one of these, I will be doing a review. So if you wanna see anything specific, let me know down in the comments below. And if you wanna be notified, do hit that subscribe button. So quick initial thoughts on it. It's something that a lot of people have been asking for. They wanted a mini version of a 2.5 gigabit switch. Well, here you go, your prayers have been answered. The switch itself is small, it's compact, it's light, it's two and a half gig. This is an ideal use case if you just wanna expand a certain area and having that higher throughput speed, or if you wanna put something under your desk, so for me, for $50, this is almost a no brainer. It seems really good. It's versatile enough for me to take around with me and light enough. For now, this is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.